Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example on automatic pumping and mixing process. So, let's look at the example first. Pumping and mixing process. The pump should run for 30 seconds to fill a tank. Then valve 1 and valve 2 will get open for 2 seconds each one after other. And then a mixer should operate for 30 seconds. And finally the pump should drain the tank for 30 seconds. So we will use normally close contact and we will also be using some timers. So, for first pump, we will use time pulse. That is, it will run for 30 seconds. And then, for valve 1 and valve 2, we will use on delay timer. And we will also use time pulse for these valves. And then, for mixer, we will use both on delay timer and time pulse. And for second pump, we will use on delay timer as well as time pulse. So let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this pumping and mixing process. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basin. So I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive. That results in uploading the application from the controller is restricted and downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller is unrestricted. We can also keep it active and set a password here. Then Uploading the application from the controller will be restricted and downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller will be restricted. That is, it will ask for the password. So, I will click on apply. After that, I will go to configuration tab. So, here we have to configure the logic controller we have to select our device. So here is a list of different logic controllers with different configurations. So I will be using TM221C24R. I can click on it and then drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configurations. I will click on yes. So here is a device description about TM221C24R. It has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. Then I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMS2GDB and then I will click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for pumping and mixing process. I can also click on this option to set a full screen mode and then I can also zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign address to it as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as start button. Yes. 
and then I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as Q0.0. I will also add symbol to it as pump1. The pump which will fill the tank. So the pump will fill the tank in 30 seconds. So pump should turn on for 30 seconds only. For that, I will use a timer here for pump 1 and that should be TP. And I will change time base to 1 second and reset value as 30. And then click on apply. So when start button is turned on, pump gets turned on for 30 seconds. That was pump will fill the tank in 30 seconds and after that this pump will turn off. Also with that I will add a new rung here and I will insert normally open contact. I will assign address to it as I 0.0 which is a start button and then I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as Q 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as wall 1. Yes. So when start button is pressed, wall 1 will be on. But wall 1 should turn on after pump 1 gets turned off. So pump 1 will turn off after 30 seconds. So Valve 1 will also turn on after 30 seconds. So for this, I will use an on delay timer for Valve 1. So I will insert a timer here for Valve 1 and that should be TR, that is on delay timer. And I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 30. And then click on apply. So, when start button is pressed, valve 1 will turn on after 30 seconds and it should be activated for 2 seconds only. For that, I will use another timer and that will be pulse timer, that is TP. I will insert a timer here and that should be TP. I will change time base to 1 second. And preset value as 2 and then click on apply. So after 30 seconds, valve 1 will turn on and it will be activated only for 2 seconds. Then I will insert one more coil here. I will assign address to this uh, coil as Q. 0.2. I will also add symbol to it as wall 2. Yes. So wall 2 should turn on after wall 1. That is, there will be a delay of 32 seconds for wall 2. For that, I will insert one more timer here for valve 2 and that should be T on that is on delay timer. I will change time base to one second and preset value as 32 seconds and then click on apply. Then I will connect it like this. Wall 2 will be activated after 32 seconds, but it should be turned on for 2 seconds only. For that, I will use one more timer that should be pulse timer. So I will insert a timer here for wall 2 and I will change 
it to TP that is pulse timer. I will change time base to one second and preset value as two. And then I will click on apply. So when start button is turned on, pump one will turn on for 30 seconds. And after 30 seconds, valve one will turn on for two seconds. And after that, that is after 32 seconds, valve two will be turned on for two seconds only. And after that, I will add a new rung here and I will insert a normally open contact. And I will assign address to it as I0.0, which is a start button. And then I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as Q 0.3. I will also add symbol to it as mixer. Yes. So the mixer should turn on after valve 2. That is, there will be a delay of 30 plus 2, 32 plus 2, 34. So there will be a delay of 34 seconds for mixer. For that, I will be using timer here for mixer and that should be on delay timer that is T on. And I will change time base to one second and preset value as 34 and then click on apply. So for mixer, there will be a delay of 34 seconds to get turned on. And after 34 seconds, that is after pump 1, valve 1 and valve 2, mixer will turn on. And it will turn on for 30 seconds. So for this, I will use one more timer. And that will be pulse timer. That will make the mixer on for 30 seconds. So I will insert a timer here for mixer and that will be TP pulse timer. I will change time base to one second and preset value as 30 and then apply. So mixer will get turn on after 34 seconds and it will be on for 30 seconds. And after that, I will add a new rung. And I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign address to it as I 0.0, .0 that is a start button and then I will insert a coil here. I will assign address to it as Q 0 0.4 and I will assign I will add symbol to it as pump 2. Yes. So for pump 2, there will be a delay of 30 plus 2, 32, 34, 34 plus 30 is 64. That is, there will be delay of 64 seconds. So for this, I will use another timer here for pump 2 and that will be on delay timer, that is T on. I will change time base to 1 second and Preset value as 64. Click on apply. So pump 2 will turn on after 64 seconds and it should be on for 30 seconds. So for this, I will use a timer pulse timer. I will 
change type to TP that is pulse timer that will make the pump on for 30 seconds. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 30. Apply. So pump 2 will be turned on after 64 seconds and it will be on for 30 seconds. So when start button is turned on, pump 1 will turn on for 30 seconds. And with that, valve 1 will wait for 30 seconds and after 30 seconds, it will be turned on for 2 seconds. And also, valve 2 will wait for 32 seconds and after 32 seconds, it will turn on for 2 seconds. Also with that, mixer will be turned on after 34 seconds. That is, after pump 1, valve 1 and valve 2, that is, after 34 seconds, mixer will turn on for 30 seconds. And after that, pump 2 will wait for 64 seconds in which pump 1, valve 1, valve 2 and mixer was on and after that pump 2 gets on and it, it remains on for 30 seconds only. After that it will stop. So I will exit full screen mode and then I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning a launch simulator. After that, I will start controller. To do so, click OK. Then I will go to programming tab and click on full screen mode. So, when start button is turned on, pump 1 will turn on for 32 seconds and valve 1 will wait for 30 seconds, valve 2 will wait for 32 seconds and mixer will wait for 34 seconds and pump 2 will wait for 64 seconds. So firstly, pump 1 will be on for 30 seconds. And after 30 seconds, valve 1 will turn on for 2 seconds and then valve 2 will turn on for 2 seconds and after that, mixer will turn on for 30 seconds. And after that, pump 2 will turn on for 30 seconds. After that, it will turn on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.